Now, after installing Java, we would be needing an editor that is Eclipse. Now, although there are many edit editors available in the market, there are companies who are using IntelliJ as well. There are companies who are using a number of editors uh, that it, it could be WebStrom, it could be NetBeans, it could be uh, like Eclipse. Eclipse is one of the most popular and most widely used editor and it's completely open source as well. Right, Eclipse as in, uh, if I talk about Eclipse, then in order to install Eclipse, I'll simply gonna say download Eclipse. Sorry. And go to the very first link. So that is Eclipse ORG download and from here we're going to click on download packages so instead of clicking on download directly click on download packages will not be doing any installation for eclipse right although you get an installer file as well but still i would recommend don't download it from the installer file because we need to select uh, a package over here as in if you take a look over here eclipse is just an editor it supports various languages like C, C++, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, Python, PHP, and number of languages are supported by Eclipse. We would be needing a very basic version of Eclipse. And for that, we need to download something called as Eclipse IDE for uh, Java, that is Java developers. We would be needing a version Java EE developers, I believe. The latest 2018-12 does not have that component. So maybe you can try downloading uh, Eclipse Committer or, or a simple Java ID, Eclipse ID for Java, DSL developer. This could also work. We, we, we would be needing it for basic Java. But right now, I don't want to take any chance because there might be some additional plugins over here. Since from beginning we are using Java EE developer, so what I'll do, I'll try going one version prior to 2008-12, that is 2018-09. And let's see if we have Java EE developers over here. Yes, we do have that, right? So based on your Windows or Linux or Mac, you'll be downloading it. I'm on a 64-bit machine, so I'm simply going to click on this. It's a, It's a heavy file somewhere around uh, 300 MB. So simply click on download. Yeah, it's somewhere around 338 MB. So it is going to take at least uh, one and a half minute to download. And what I'll do uh, till the time it is being downloaded, I'll just pause the video and we'll resume it back. So once it is completely downloaded, uh, you'll find Eclipse in a form of a zip file. Just unzip it. Okay, and this is uh, where you'll find a folder Eclipse if you See this thing, this is the application. Uh, I mean, there is nothing installable in Eclipse, so you simply need to double click on application and it will launch your Eclipse. So this is the latest Eclipse ID, how it looks like. Now, in case you don't have Java configured, uh, you're directly gonna get an error over here. So it will ask you to configure Java, right? Now, the very first thing it is asking you for a workspace now workspace is basically a location where you will be maintaining your project code so i will be giving the workspace uh, i'll be storing all my workspaces in one location i'm maintaining it over here in f drive selenium workspaces you can keep it in any location you want so i'll name it as selenium 3 new series Right, and then click on launch. So we'll see a folder is generated over here. And what all code that we are going to write will get stored at this location. Next time, if we want to launch the same project, we just need to give this path. So let's see once Eclipse is launched. It is still being launched. 
Okay, so it will gonna show you a welcome screen like this. Just close it, and this is what your Eclipse is. We've already discussed about a couple of Eclipse features in our Java sessions as well. So you're not going to uh, discuss those things again and directly gonna uh, start configuring Selenium. Right, so the next pre-request is to configure Selenium. So we are done with these two configuration. In the next lecture, we're gonna see how we're gonna get started with Selenium and uh, what are the next uh, things that we need to configure to automate our website. All right.